Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, February 8, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, uh, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, in the weekend or basically for, for the last few trading days the last week it has been rallying especially yesterday it rallied all the way up towards the 40,809 and then it broke down quite aggressively so at this point we may see a pullback towards the 20 exponential moving, moving average give or take uh, uh, 35,300 uh, give or take that is probably where we are going to and then we'll continue this rally. We could also break down towards the 50 moving average at the 32,900 and then rally from there. But that will just be a grind to the downside. So the 50 moving average is as low as this market has gone in the, in the past. So we are not overbought at this point. We are at 64 in the RSI. Technical indicators are slowly turning around here in the in daily chart. And that's due to this massive rally of roughly $10,000 to the upside. And when you usually see that, you should basically see a pullback towards the 20 or the 50. But both of these moving averages are major buying opportunities at this point. Um, Bitcoin is much more resilient now than it was back in 2017. In 2017, a move like this would probably lose half of its value and then rally and then lose even more of this value but now it looks like it's it is holding the, as long as the 50 moving average is holding the 20 is moving uh, is holding and um, yes that is basically as long as those uh, moving averages hold this will gradually go to the upside if we break above these previous highs here then we'll go to 45,000 and 50,000 and beyond that and uh, yes that is where this market most likely will go in the next week uh, or in the next month. So let's look at Ethereum. So this has um, basically been outperforming most of the cryptocurrencies, uh, except for ADA, uh, the, the, the last few weeks or in 2021. Uh, it has been outperforming uh, Bitcoin quite uh, substantially. So the major Bitcoins or cryptocurrencies in uh, cryptocurrency, I was supposed to say, um, are Bitcoin and Ethereum. So Bitcoin will most likely be will, what people will basically go to when they want to have a safe haven like gold and so on. Ethereum is more like a more like similar to when you buy contracts and so on. And uh, there is going to be they are distinguishable. Um, however, it is fairly unclear whether or not Ethereum is going to be the main cryptocurrency in this field. There are other smarter cryptocurrencies or more developed cryptocurrencies that uh, are, uh, are, yes, next generations of this kind of cryptocurrencies. So it is, it's going to be interesting to see what happens basically to Ethereum because it has quite a lot of um, competition. And I've added one of those uh, um, one of those uh, cryptocurrencies to this analysis, and I've basically deleted one because um, I'll get to that in a moment why I've done that. But as you can see, we have rallied all the way up to 17, uh, 1744, and at the moment we are most likely going to drop towards fifteen hundred and then continue this rally. Twenty exponential is uh, is basically the bottom of this market. If we fall below that, then we have the 50 moving average right underneath. Technical indicators are looking fairly uh, bearish at this point, but we also have been a very parabolical move to the upside. If you look at the weekly chart, for example, for for uh, for Ethereum, you can see that we are very, very overbought. You can also look at the Bollinger Band here. And you can see where we are way outside of the Bollinger Band in the weekly chart we are probably also outside here we were outside in the daily chart and that's why we are going back towards the middle here uh, but 
throughout 1500 is where we are most likely going to drop to. Uh, so 1500, that should be a uh, buying opportunity. And um, yes, we are in a very nice uptrend here. So I have decided to drop XRP from the list, mainly due to the fact that it is under investigation and uh, due to the fact that there's so much competition in this field, I don't think that a, a cryptocurrency that is under investigation or by the uh, SEC is going to uh, outperform any other cryptocurrency. It's probably going to be really difficult for that cryptocurrency to, to grow substantially compared to other competitors. Uh, so I have decided to drop XRP from my um, analysis and I'm going to add ADA instead. So this has been the fastest growing cryptocurrency of 2021. Um, just keep in mind, back in November, the value for this cryptocurrency was 0 0.0887. At the moment, we are trading at roughly 0 0.70. So yes, if you bought it down here, you made a whole lot of money, to be very honest. So it is expected for this to probably break or get to one point one dollar and fifty or one dollar twenty five. That is what I've uh, uh, most likely we're going to. But at this moment, it is gone completely parabolical. This is the daily chart, and we can see that we are eighty sixth here in the in the RSI. We're significantly overbought, and. Um, we will most likely see a pullback at some point. So we can look at, for example, at the Fibonacci retracements for, for this cryptocurrency, and we can see that we could fall all the way down towards a 0 0.46 or in the 50 here at 0 0.39. That is where we could, but I would bet that we will go down to 0 0.50 um, where we'll see the 20 exponential moving average, the 20 simple moving average, and the 50 moving average go this way. So pull back towards the 0 0.50, that is most likely where we're going to in the next few weeks or probably days because it is very, very parabolical. So if you look at the weekly chart, for example, for this cryptocurrency, it is just out of this world. We are approaching the RSI levels that for, for Bitcoin and for Ethereum where it just falls by by 25 to 30 percent in in a day so just keep that in mind this is not the right time to buy this uh, however if you're buying for the long term if you buy it for for three to five years or probably 10 years it doesn't really matter when you enter this um, it is very low level at, at, at the cost of this compared to other cryptocurrency is very low so so in the long term it does not really matter when you enter at the moment but if you're buying this for the short term, you should probably wait until it falls around 0 0.50 or even lower than that to the first Fibonacci retracements or so on. So yes, this is a um, cryptocurrency that I'm going to add to the list instead of XRP because uh, I think the, the potential for this to grow and to analyze this in the, the future is more interesting than XRP. So let's look at Litcoin. Sorry. So this is the only cryptocurrency that is on my, in my portfolio for the long run. I, I'll probably add more, but, but this is uh, the only cryptocurrency I have in my portfolio. So, so this one is, looks very similar to Bitcoin. It is uh, basically competitive towards uh, to, uh, to Bitcoin. It has a market cap of roughly 482 million so there is a limited supply but it is uh, four times as big as or nearly four times as big as bitcoin's uh, limited supply but it has been growing very steadily and it has major support at the 20 exponential moving average also the 50 moving average it is almost acting like a commodity so so that's one of the main reasons why i I'd like to, I invested in this is because it is, it is basically, um, 
it is very predictable where we are going with this. So if we manage to take out these previous highs here at the 182, then we'll probably go to 200. And if you look at, at the behavior of Bitcoin and, and, and Ethereum, it's basically when they break these major, um, major resistance or these peaks that it really takes off. It's like it takes off by 25 to uh, almost 50% to the upside. So if we see the same thing here, it will probably take a few weeks, probably months until we break this previous resistance here. But I'm looking for a move of roughly up to 300, probably 400, uh, if we manage to break this major um, resistance here. So it will be very interesting. Um, I I'm, I have not invested a lot of in bit cryptocurrencies and so on. I thought for a really long time that it was completely a joke. But apparently big institutions and uh, big investors are putting a lot of money into uh, this uh, technology and it'll, it will probably not go anywhere. It will be still be very volatile as it is mainly, it is only supply and demand in the marketplace that basically is driving this. There is no um, institutions like a Federal Reserve that is trying to, um, trying to, um, to, uh, to um, intervene and, um, and manipulate the price in, in, any, in any sort. So it will always have these major drops. But these major drops, as you can see, are major buying opportunities. For example, here it found the 50 moving average as major support, rallied, found the 50 moving average again. So the 50, you know, is very, very supportive. So every time we get close to the 50, or basically the bottom of the bullish band, this has been rallying. So it has been not, it was fairly parabolical, but now it's more, much more stable. And we are going, probably going towards these very highs here and beyond that. So if you, if we look at the market, probably uh, one year from now, it's probably going to be ADA. It's going to be Ethereum. It's going to be, it's going to be Bitcoin. And it's probably going to be Litecoin that are going to be uh, the major um, winners in the cryptocurrency market. So Bitcoin, it will probably go to 100,000, probably 150,000. And uh, when that cycle ends, uh, we will see a major drop in all the cryptocurrencies. Uh, but at this point, we are still in uptrend. And uh, if you want to trade this, then it is a good idea to jump in and uh, start buying because they are going very high and as you can see in ADA you could have uh, earned a lot of money by buying some of those very cheap cryptocurrencies when they were at 0 0.08 and now they're they're up almost the uh, 20x to 30x 25x and so on so let's look at uh, NEO So this is a cryptocurrency that started off being very, very expensive, to be fairly honest. We were all the way up here in the back in 2017 at 134. We're at 24 at, the, at this current stage, and it has been trending upwards. So um, as I can stand, the uh, main reason for this fall was due to the uh, Chinese government basically um, cracking down on cryptocurrencies. But since then, they have changed their tune. They have completely changed their tune. Actually, it was uh, Xi Jinping that probably started the rally in Bitcoin when he says that the cryptocurrencies were going to be uh, major players in the in the economy in the in the future. So it went from I don't know it was well roughly at uh, at uh, five thousand up to ten thousand when he basically uh, said that, and uh, since then it has basically been rallying. So you can also see what happened here in, in NEO. It has also it bottomed out here at 3.87 and has been on a quite, quite nice rally. We have been seeing these parabolic moves, but the 200 moving average, 50 moving average, and the 20, they are all major resistant areas, especially the 20 and the 50 have been very, very uh, supportive areas, I'm, I suppose to say. So fall back towards the 20, you can see if we had another one yesterday or yeah, early to this day and we pull back quite nicely 
So if we manage to take out these previous highs here of 26 and also at 20, uh, 28, we'll probably go to 30. Uh, $30 and then $40 and then 50 as well. So there is also, even though this is becoming more expensive, there's a lot of, of, um, lot of opportunities in this cryptocurrency. This is basically the uh, competitor to Ethereum. And you can see that Ethereum as at the moment is uh, trading at uh, 1700 and this is only down at uh, 24. So um, if this gets up to Ethereum levels, then there's a, uh, a lot of money to be earned in this cryptocurrency. But a break below the 20 exponential opens the door to the 50 at $20, and a break above these two price levels here opens the door to the 30. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support this channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck, and thank you very much. Thank <music> you.